Hello, is this thing on? I'm gonna assume it's on. Greetings, audience. It's time for another Magisite video. Uh, Tiamat. One of the most often cursed four-star Magisites, I think. Maybe Hades now, but definitely when the four stars were first released, people hated Tiamat. Um, I'm gonna try to make this quicker than the last video because it was a little bit long. Um, Renoa is my chain user. It's a Gen 1 chain. That's her her first thing she's gonna do. So she'll cast that and then she'll be using Voltec. Powerful ice, water, lightning magic. She might occasionally proc her Breaker of the Circle. Gives her a moderate chance to reduce the delay of her actions for three turns after using a black magic ability. So she gets fast cast. She starts infused with the power of ice. She will eventually build up to using her ultra, which infuses her with the power of ice. And her X mode raises her magic and causes her black magic abilities to trigger a five hit ice attack. Not super strong, but still pretty good. Chases are always good. We got Edia using her ultra, which infuses her with the power of ice, raises her magic a moderate amount, her resistance a small amount, and causes witch abilities to double cast. I don't think I've shown off witch abilities. Right now there's only a handful. She'll be building up to her ultra using this. Sudden Freeze deals two attacks, ice attacks. Reduces her offensive magic casting time for one turn, so it gives her some quick speed cycling. And then once her ultra is online, she'll be using Abyssal Shards. Six magic ice attacks to one target, triggers after a long delay. This team throws around a lot of party quick cast so that long delay shouldn't always shouldn't often be an issue and because her ultra causes her to double cast that's 12 hits every time she casts so she builds chain quite nicely the sail is my primary dps she is stupidly strong uh her ultra is the big showcase here uh, infuses her with the power of ice, raises her magic moderate amount, resistance a small amount, causes her ice abilities to trigger the follow-up ability Ice Brand, deals 2-6 to six hits to one target, and the number of hits depends on the triggering ability's rank. So, she has a maxed out Chain Blizzaga, so it's rank 5, so she'll always deal 6 hits on the follow-up. So she does 10 every time. Sadly, no double stuff. But like Renoa, when she is using her abilities, she has 35% chance to reduce her the delay of her actions for three turns. She'll be building up with Belligramanda because it's a six-star ability. Otherwise, she's using Chain Blizzaga once Ultra is online. Minfilia has a cool Ultra. She's our buffer for this episode. Haste all allies, raises attack and magic a moderate amount, and resist resistance a small amount. Um, and she's basically there because she can cast Protect Ga. Uh, she has a split attack magic boost, which is somewhat important for this because the boss will routinely hit random characters with... Uh, Abilities that temporarily reduce their attack or magic. And if you're using a soul attack or soul magic, like just purely one or the other buff, it gets erased by that ability. So, most, most ultras do magic and mind for buffs. This one does attack and magic. It doesn't really matter. It's 30% either way, and it doesn't get erased by Tiamat's nonsense. She'll also be entrusting here and there where it's needed. Lara, I think we've all seen Alara by now. Excellent Ultra. Large amount of HP, instant cast. Reduces 
delay, so that's the quick cast for two turns for everybody. Grants them Regenga, which is a stupid passive healing. Stupid good. She can double cast her white magic. She'll probably double cast Shelga, because that's useless. We'll be using Dullahan for our Magicite, which deals five magic ice attacks to all enemies. Temporarily raises the ice attack level of all allies by one. Pure offense. I hope that wasn't too long of an intro. I feel like the intro takes forever. I talk too much is the problem, I think. Best time, 2316. We should be somewhere between there and 25, usually. This team is pretty consistent. They don't rely on chances to dual cast. I mean, if they had it, they could probably get lower than 23 on a good day. The only RNG comes from who Tiamat hits with her magic reducing ability. Because while she doesn't cancel, I'm gonna turn the, there we go. She doesn't cancel the buff, but the buff doesn't cancel the debuff either. So that can mess with things a little bit. I totally missed who she hit with the first one, but we'll see. Not your sale. Not Renoa, that's good. And yeah, with Tiamat, you need to get your up ASAP, because she hits you hard just right from the get-go. that up. Showing off the restart feature. That's what I'm doing. I could start the video over. But, but yeah, Tiamat hits like a truck and she just does not stop. She occasionally will use an ability called Silence Claw that uh, silences. Thankfully, most of this team is resistant to silence, so it rarely ever procs. Again, I missed who that hit. I'm so focused on, on hitting my buttons. Oh yeah, there's the shell guy dual cast. Not your sail, because that's normal damage for her. Oh, there's that quick cast proc. Not Renoa, excellent. Oh, there's her quick cast proc. Yeah, this is a better start anyways. Okay, not gonna hit Chain Blizzaga with Ysail. Gonna do it right this time. And this is a bit of an overheal. I just, I worry too much that the next attack will hit too hard. Nope. Look how fast they cast. Oh no! I did something very bad there. Let's see what happens. I should have cast Protecta with... How hard is this gonna hit? Ooh, jeez. Still survivable. So, I should have cast Protecta there with, uh... Minfilia, but... 
It looks like we're okay. Interesting. Forgot my turn order. I should have done a practice run first. I'm such an amateur at this. I feel like this is fast. No, it's still battle speed one. Just all that quick cast, I guess. magic on somebody that isn't using their magic. Why the slowdown? I used to do this with two healers, and now that I've got a Lara... One healer is overhealing. Now that got off to a slow start. That's not so good. I totally messed up. Astral time. I don't think any of my DPS got hit with the magic debuff. That's brilliant. And absorb strength doesn't matter in this fight at all because I'm not using any physical characters. The sail is a wrecker. This is going to hurt. <laughs> Thankfully, I remembered to cast Protect God before then. Although, I think that is piercing and Protect God wouldn't matter for that anyways. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure the Savage Jetfire and Savage uh, Twister are both piercing. Right at the end, and absorb magic on. Huh. That should hit for like 7k a piece at that point. Oh well. Still gonna wreck her. I don't know what I did there. Did I, did I cast Protecta again? Doesn't even matter. The contribution at this point. Yeah, I cast Protecta again. Doesn't matter. Essentially in the way at this point. So still, 2386. And I messed up a couple times. Pretty solid. For what used to be a nightmare that I needed two healers for. Some powerful ice mages there. That 
Ice Queen Squad. Anyways, there's Tiamat. She's a jerk. And now she's an easy sub 30. I hope you enjoyed that, even with all the messing up. And uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. Maybe Famfrit, even though Famfrit is not a sub 30. I still think just clearing five star magicites is a bit, an, a bit of an achievement. I can do Phoenix as well, so maybe, maybe I'll do those two. Because I cannot sub 30 Hades. Maybe if I get a Holy Chain. We'll see. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. See you around.